Hey everyone, you just finished the chapter five lecture videos. Now I want to go back and show you how to do some of those practice problems here in StatCrunch. And now the truth is, I know uh, having seen the binomial and the Poisson here in StatCrunch from chapter four, you probably could figure this out on your own. We're pretty much going to go about it in the same way. But hey, why not make a video for just a few minutes? We can make it uh, crystal clear. So um, some interesting ideas. Uh, in chapter five, right? Some challenging ideas when we start to talk about uh, a continuous random variable and how there are like infinitely many possibilities um, and what that does. And so, you know, we learned I've just got to hear the exponential distribution. Whenever we look at a probability, our formula is always based on it being less than capital X is less than little x, right? So, okay, how does that play out when we do these uh, here in StatCrunch? So I'll just go to Practice number one, uh, an average American takes seven minutes to fall asleep at night. In part A, they asked about f of 10, right? Well, that's not something uh, we can do in StatCrunch. We're going to skip right on to B, where we're asked about uh, a probability, or the way it's phrased here is a percent. What percent of Americans take less than 10 minutes to fall asleep? Okay, so over here, uh, I've got my stat crunch all ready to go. I'm going to hover right there, calculators, and I'm going to go right on down to exponential, and I get this nifty little calculator right there. And so we see, you know, we got the option standard in between. We're going to leave it on standard for, for this one. Uh, the mean, so it said the average American takes seven minutes. So that's our mean. And coincidentally, they already have uh, 10 right here, um, which is what we want, right? Less than 10 minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and hit compute. And what do you know? There's our answer, 0 0.760 when you round it. And that's what we got before. Uh, very, very nice. We also see the graph, right? So they graph uh, that exponential, right? So it's there's a lot of people here that fall asleep. You know, even up to 10 minutes and then, but then past that, the, the probabilities uh, drop and drop and drop. Although there are still some people who regularly take, you know, 60 minutes or more to fall asleep. Most people, according to this data, are much further back here. So, and it highlights everybody uh, that's under 10 minutes right there. Okay. So that was part B. Part C, um, the proportion that take between five and 10 minutes. Ooh, okay, now we get to use the between. So when we want between two values, right? Obviously we're gonna select the between. Our mean is still seven, okay? Um, what were those numbers again? Between five and 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Actually, co coincidentally, it's already got five there for us. Uh, we're gonna put five is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to 10. And that's what we wanna do. And what do you know? There's our answer, 0 0.24989062. When we round it, 0 0.250. And you notice it highlights just those people between 5 and 10 minutes, or that proportion. Very, very nice. Uh, part D. Oh, that was the, the, the image I put in the lecture as well. What do you know? Okay, from StackCrunch. Um, what proportion of Americans take over 20 minutes? What do you do when it's a more than? Okay, we're going to go back to the standard because it's not a between now. We're going to say greater than 20, more than 20 minutes. And there you go, 20 or more. Now you notice that StatCrunch, you may have uh, noticed this already right away. Uh, StatCrunch gives you a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And technically it should be a greater than or less than without the or equal. Although I guess you could argue mathematically it's the same since the probability being equal is zero. Um, they choose to do with a greater than or equal. In my opinion, it should just be a greater than since it's more than 20 minutes, but this is the answer we want, right? 0 0.057 is the answer that we got before with the formula. Okay, now this is really cool. We can even answer part E in StatCrunch, right? In part E, uh, you have to solve the equation. It's like you're working backwards, right? When you get a percentile question, what is the 50th percentile of minutes to fall asleep? So we're trying to find a number of minutes, right? That would cut off like uh, the bottom 50% of the population, go up to a certain number of minutes to fall asleep on average. 
we can do that here. Check it out. We want the mean to be 7, obviously. We're going to switch this to be a less than. Whenever you do a percentile, switch that to a less than. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Delete that number and put in the percentile question here, right? We're working backwards. We're trying to figure out the number of minutes, but we know the answer is 0 0.50. Now, what's great, we don't have to solve any equation. We just hit compute, and it will do it for us right there, 4.852, and that is a number of minutes since it's an X value. And it gives us the graph. That's what marks off uh, 4.852. So this is half. And it's it's interesting, right? That shaded region, that's actually half of the total area. So this shaded region is the same as this unshaded part. And it kind of looks strange. Like, really, that's half? But yeah, because it's, because it's wide for so long. Okay, anyway. Um, so that's how you do all those. Even the percentile question, again, what did we do there? What just happened, right? So we deleted this number. We typed in the percentile, make sure it's a less than, and we hit compute. And it just filled that part in, and it worked backwards for us. Excellent. Okay, moving on. We learned about the uniform distribution. And it's, uh, in, you know, in a way, a simpler distribution than the exponential. Um, but a lot of similarities, and it's it's got its new probability formula, right? X minus A over B minus A. Okay, so let's get on uh, to practice number two, right? We had uh, kids starting first grade, um, and okay, it said the age of a first grader uh, on the first day of school is between 5.65 and 6.65. Okay, on the first day of school... Uh, what's the probability that he or she was less than six years old? Hadn't had their sixth birthday yet. Okay, so we obviously don't want the exponential calculator anymore. Get rid of that. We want to go over to the uniform calculator. Now, be careful. Pick this calculator down here, not the discrete, right? We're dealing with continuous. So that's our con continuous uniform calculator there. And we get that shape of that uniform distribution, right? Okay, so it tells us a lower limit and an upper limit. That's the A and the B. So for us, it was 5.65 and 6.65. The youngest they'll be is this. The oldest they'll be is this on the first day of school. And it said, what is the chances uh, that they, let me read it again, um, that they are less than six years old. Okay, so we'll keep it as less, less than six. If I can put that in there compute and it gives us the picture so we know their age ranges are from here to here and less than six all of that and well there's our answer 0.35 and that's what of course what we got before now interesting uh in part b right part b was a weird one uh what's what is the probability that they'll be exactly six right and we said before well to be exactly six would mean they turn six at the exact moment the first day of school begins. So that would be an equals six. Well, in your calculator, Stack Crunch does not give you that option to be equal because we all know that to be equal to six here, the probability is zero, that somebody would be born at the very instant, right down to the hundredth um, decimal place of a second, the thousandth, the millionth of a decimal, right? It has to be accurate absolutely perfectly. Um, well, th that's just that's just uh, physically impossible. It's just not going to happen that they would turn six at the exact same instant. Um, they're either going to fall on the left or the right. So we just know that that answer is zero. There's nothing to compute. But part C, we can certainly do. What was the 80th percentile, another percentile question. Okay, what do we do? We leave it as a less than. All right, we get rid of this and we type in our percentile right there, right? We're working backwards now. We don't have an equation to solve, which is great. We can just let StatCrunch work backwards for us. Boom, and there we go. And what we see is they drew the line that designated exactly 80% of the data. So 80% here, 20% up here. And they knew exactly where to draw that line to make it happen. And, well, where is it? Well, right there, right there's our answer. 6.45 years old uh, would be the 80th percentile, meaning 80% of the kids are this age or younger. 
on the first day of first grade, according to this data anyway. Okay, moving right along. Uh, number three, we got this New York City subway classic example of a uniform distribution. Subways arrive every eight minutes. Okay, so we said uh, when we did it before, the lower limit is zero, right? And the upper limit is eight. I said, okay. So what's happening? Well, we were asked to graph. Well, we just need to know what the graph looks like. I guess StatCrunch could kind of, you know, give us an idea of the graph. If we forgot, right, probability, density function, f of x, right? We can't do that stuff in StatCrunch. Um, the f of x, we can only just do the, the probability function, the p. Uh, what is the mean wait time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, we just got to know how to do that on our own, right? You know, in this case, we take our a and our b and we average them, right? Zero plus eight divided by two. We know, okay, we know the average is four. What's the standard deviation? Okay, well, again, like we just got another formula for that. Uh, what's the probability? There we go. A commuter waits less than one minute. Perfect. So we'll go over here. Less than one minute, less than or equal to one compute. And there you go. It's cutting off all the people. These are the people who are fortunate enough to wait less than a minute for that subway, that next subway. Uh, 0 0.125 which we got before. Okay, the next one, uh, probability that they're between five and seven. All right, we need that between. They're between five and, well, seven. Okay, perfect. Compute, and there we go, between five and seven. Turns out to be uh, exactly 0 0.25. Okay, awesome. Then the very last question, uh, it turns out it's another Similar to a percentile, right? But a little change. 70% wait more than how long? Mm, okay, what are we going to do with that? Standard, right? We want back the standard. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to put in 0.7, but it's more than, more than 0.7. So we need a greater than. So it's, it's like... Uh, a percentile question but with the more than percentile is always less than so here they're specifically saying more than and there we go um, so we're taking so we're like where do we draw the line so that we get 70% above that line right 70% are more than some value and of course our answer that same answer we got before 2.4 minutes so 70% of people have to wait at least 2.4 minutes um, before the next subway arrives. Okay, that is it. We did it.